some of mineral traders of Ahmedabad. Mineral traders of Ahmedabad invoice goods to their Surat branch at cost price, but with the instruction to sell the goods at a profit of 25% on cost. Branch makes both cash and credit sales and remit all cash received to the head office through bank draft. All the expenses of branch are paid by head office but for petty disbursement the head office sent petty cash of rupees 200 to the branch at the beginning of each month. So total amount sent for petty expenses is 200 into 12, 2400. Following details are available in respect of branch for the year ended on 31st of Bar 2013. Balances as on 1 for 2012, furniture at cost price, cost price is 25,000, return down value is 15,000. Stock of goods, debtors, petty cash, outstanding rent, prepaid salaries, these are the opening balances. Transactions during the year, goods sent to branch, goods returned by branch, goods returned to the branch by debtors, cash sales, rent and taxes, salaries, petty expenses, insurance for the year ended on 31st of July 2013, bad debts, cash received from debtors including bad debts recovered 1000, so actual amount received from debtors is 64000 and 1000 is a bad debt recovered. So in debtors account in a working note we can write 64000 not 65000. But the remittance to be recorded in branch account will be 65,000 which is made of collection from debtors as well as income bad debt recovered. Total sales, discount allowed to debtors, furniture sent to the branch. Depreciation on furniture is to be provided at 10% by straight line method. Here in a straight line method depreciation is to be calculated on the original cost. Advertisement expenses of 1250 are yet to be paid. Branch has sold goods as per HO instruction. Prepare branch account, branch trading and profit and loss account, branch petty cash account, branch debtors account in the books of head office. This is also a sum wherein goods are not sent to the branch at an invoice price but they are sent at a cost price. But the instruction is given to branch to sell the goods at cost plus 25 percent. In this type of situation normally any of the stock details are missing in the sum. We shall find out what we are supposed to find out by preparing stock account or alternatively by preparing trading account. Now observe the sum you are given the total sales you are given cash sales. From total sales deduct cash sales, you will get the credit sales. Now the details of credit sales are available by the difference between these two. Now you are given the details of opening balance of debtors. You hold the details of credit sale. Here you are given the details of cash received from the debtors that is 64,000. So closing balance of debtors is missing. So we are required to find closing balance of debtors by preparing debtors account. You are given the opening balance of petty cash. Also petty expenses are given. Cash sent for petty expenses 200 per month or so 2400. So closing balance of petty cash is missing that we can find out by preparing petty cash account. Opening balance of furniture. Furniture sent and the rate of depreciation 10% as per straight line method is given. We are required to find out the closing balance of furniture and write to the credit side of branch account. Over and above you are given the details of prepaid salary opening balance, outstanding rent opening balance, outstanding rent opening balance is a liability appears on the credit side of branch account. 
prepaid salary is a debit balance, opening balance, it appears on the debit side of branch account. Now, let us consider the details of stock. You are given the opening stock, goods and goods return. Instruction for profit is also given. The details of closing stock is missing. So, we can find out the closing stock either by preparing stock account or by preparing trading account and we can find out the missing closing stock. After finding that, we can write that closing stock to the credit side of branch account and find the profit of branch account. That I will demonstrate while solving the sum. Now, let us start with the sum. Here I have prepared branch account for the year ended on 31st of Bar 2013. Working notes for petty cash for debtors. Now, I start with the sum. Opening balance of furniture debited to the branch account. All opening balances are debited to the branch account. At the beginning of the year, branch is given all assets and liabilities to start with. Transactions with the branch are recorded in branch account. At the end of the year, all the closing balance of assets and liabilities are taken away by head office because branch does not hold a existence separate than head office and head office cannot report in his books of accounts amount recoverable and payable to the branch. So, at the beginning of the year, the branch is to be created by giving assets and liabilities and at the end of the year, the existence of the branch is to be merged with the existence of head office by absorbing all of its assets and liabilities at the end of the year. So, here furniture given to the branch, branch account debit, same way opening stock is also debited to branch account. Then debtors balance, opening debtors debited to branch account that I also write in the working note of debtors account, opening balance 20,000, petty cash opening balance debited to branch account, same way opening balance of petty cash is recorded is a, in a working note wherein we have prepared petty cash account. Outstanding rent is a liability that is recorded in the credit side of branch account and prepaid salary is recorded in the debit side of branch account. This is how all opening balance of assets and liabilities are recorded in branch account. Now, let us consider the transactions during the year. Goods sent to branch, branch account debit to goods sent to branch account, 190,000. Goods returned by the branch, branch is the giver, credit the giver, branch account is credited for goods return 10,000. Goods returned by branch, goods returned to branch by debtors. This is a transaction between branch and debtors. Head office is not a party to this transaction. So, it gets recorded to the credit side of debtors account in a working note. Cash sales, whatever the cash sales, cash proceeds are received by branch out of cash sales is remitted to HO. So, head office has received this cash from the branch. Branch is the giver, credit the giver. So, branch account is to be credited for this sales. Rent and taxes, expenses paid by head office for the branch. So, branch account debit to cash account, cash paid for rent and taxes, branch account debit to cash account, payment for salary, branch account debit to, I am sorry, now next is petty expenses. This petty expenses are paid by branch. So, it is a transaction by a branch with the rest of the world, not with HO. So, it would not appear in branch account, but it will be recorded on the credit side of petty cash account in a working note 2500. Insurance expense paid by head office for the branch, branch account debit to cash account, insurance paid 1500, but that is a loss that is credited to the debtors account. Now, let us prepare a working note to find out the prepaid insurance. Insurance 
paid 1500 for the year ended on 31st of July 2013. So 12 months payment is 1500. Payment up to 31st of July that is after 31st of March, April, May, June and July. So 4 months prepayment. So 4 months prepayment is 500. Prepaid insurance at the end of the year is a closing debit balance with the branch. It appears on the credit side of branch account. Prepaid insurance. Now next is bad debts. Bad debts is recorded to the credit side of debtors account in a working note. Then cash received from debtors including bad debt recovered 1000. So out of 65,000, 1000 is bad debt recovered. 64,000 is the amount recovered from debtors. All these 65,000 is remitted by branch to HO. So branch account is to be credited for 65,000 but 64,000 only gets recorded in debtors account. This is how remittance by branch is for cash sales collection from debtors and bad debt recovered but the debtors account is to be credited only with the recovery from debtors not bad debt recovered. Now total sales minus cash sales we get the credit sale credit sale is recorded in the debit side of debtors account in a working note discount allowed debit I'm sorry discount allowed credited to debtors account furniture sent to the branch branch account debit to furniture account the furniture is sent on 1st of October 2012 Now PTK is sent at the rate of 200 per month. So total amount sent is 2400 branch account debit to cash account and this amount is also recorded in the debit side of PT cash account in a working note. Now let us consider the details of furniture. Work out the depreciation on furniture by straight line method. Furniture 15,000. Under straight line method, depreciation is calculated and cost. 15,000 is a return down value, but the depreciation thereon is 10% of 25,000, 2,500. Balance after the writing of depreciation is 12,500. Additional furniture 15,000, that is the cost on which we are required to work out depreciation for 6 months 750. So total depreciation is 2500 plus 750 and the return down value of the furniture after depreciation is 26750. This 26750 is recorded in the credit side of branch account and this total depreciation will be debited to profit and loss account when we prepare profit and loss account. Advertisement expenses rupees 1250 outstanding closing balance of liability debited to branch account outstanding advertisement expense. Now let us close this debtors account and find the closing balance of debtors. Total of debit side is 1,10,000 minus sales return cash bad debts and discount allowed. We get a closing balance that we write to the credit side of branch account. Now we close petty cash account. The closing balance of petty cash that is also credited to branch account. Now the stock at branch at the end of the year is not known. So we prepare trading account to find out this stock. And after finding out this stock, we shall find out the profit of branch. So first of all, let me prepare trading account and profit and loss account. Let me start. Opening stock 30,000 debited to trading account. Opening balance of debtors cannot be recorded in trading and profit and loss account that we intend to prepare. So it is shown by way of cancellation. Furniture op 15,000 opening balance. Send 15,000 total debited for furniture is 30,000. From that 26,750 credited to branch account is deducted. We get the depreciation 3250 that is exactly equal to the depreciation that we have calculated in a previous working note. And this depreciation on furniture is debited to profit and loss account. Petty cash opening balance cannot be recorded. Now for salary notice, 
what are the items debited to the branch account for salary prepaid salary 1000 16000 for salary that is cash given by ho to the branch or salary paid by ho for branch 16000 so total amount debited 1000 1, plus 16000 the 17000 is debited to profit and loss account goods sent to the branch debited to trading account PTK sent cannot be recorded in trading and profit and loss account. Rent 6000 debited to branch account and outstanding rent 300 we find on the credit side of branch account. Difference between the two 5700 is the rent expense for the current year debited to profit and loss account. Same way insurance debited to branch account 1500 and credited to branch account 500 difference is 1000. 1000 is the expense of branch for the year so debited to profit and loss account advertisement expense which is unpaid but it's an expense for the current year debited to profit and loss account here in profit and loss account i should not write outstanding advertisement expenses are sufficient narration to be expressed in particulars goods returned by branch deducted from goods and sales credited to branch trading account closing balance of debtors and cash receipt from debtors cannot be recorded in trading and profit and loss account bad debt recovered is an income credited to profit and loss account closing stock i want to find out as i told to you closing balance of debtors cannot be recorded in trading and profit and loss account petty cash closing balance also cannot be recorded in trading and profit and loss account now this petty expenses are debited to profit and loss account Credit sale credited to trading account, sales written deducted from total sales, we get a net sales of 2,56,000. Bad debts loss debited to profit and loss account, discount allowed debited to profit and loss account. Now let us find out the gross profit. Rate of gross profit is 25% on cost, 100 is the cost and 25 is the profit, 125 is the sales price. So for 125, 25 is the profit, how much for 2,56,000? Here we get a gross profit of 51,200 that is debited to trading account. Now we find the missing item of closing stock that I write to the credit side of branch account. Now notice that I can find out the total of closing balance and now I can find the profit of branch account that is also 13, that is 13,500. Now find the profit by closing profit and loss account. You will get the same profit of 13,500 this is our profit as per branch account and profit by preparing trading and profit and loss account confirms